Hello, this is your RPG Archivist with a July vlog in August. <laughs> yes, folks, uh, remember all that stuff I was saying about I'm going to make a video every week this year or maybe every two weeks this year. Uh, no, forget about it. No, no. This is now officially a hobby until further notice. So those of you who have subscribed, thank you. Do leave a like if you like my stuff. You might still want to hit the notifications because uh, my videos might end up being few and far between. And you might miss them. Assuming you even care. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to kick off this July vlog with something that happened at the end of July. Um... Uh, free RPG Day. Yeah, we actually had it. It did not get cancelled. It's a little different than uh, the previous year, however. Yeah, the, there were no tables set up for games. Um, a lot of people played virtually uh, over the computer. I kind of wanted to join in on those, but things kept popping up. I don't know. I, it seems to me like I would love to do more stuff online, but for whatever reason, nobody could seem to schedule for online games, I, and I'm one of them. But anyway, uh, yeah, it was a little disappointing this year, but they did have it. And like I say, support Free RPG Day. Support your brick and mortar stores, and that's a good way to do it. This year, I tried not to get greedy. I got things that I thought I would actually use. I didn't keep going in and going, eh. I'll grab that one. Nobody's picking it up. <laughs> this year I only got three. Kids on Brooms. Uh, it's my understanding this is actually going to be a game coming out in October. I could be wrong. Look it up yourself because um, I'm too lazy to do it for you. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kids on Brooms, we're talking like um, Harry Potter, uh, some assorted um, magic stuff on anime. I don't know. But it looked interesting, and I've read the rules uh, for Kids on Bikes, and one of these days I'll actually re do a read-only review on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I picked this up, and I thought, yeah, what the heck? Here, I'll flip through it real quick. Yeah, it's safe, nothing bad. There was a lot of... A lot of neat stuff going on. Not a little sparse on the art. I gotta say though, one of the things I like about Kids on Bikes uh, is this interesting art style. Um, I don't know what it is about the art style, I just kind of like it. It reminds me of kind of like the old 50s illustration style, and yet kind of modern at the same time. I don't know. Uh, next thing I got, How to Paint a Library. Uh, this is produced by Army Painter, and I don't have a library to paint, but I'm always keeping my eye out on painting stuff. You've seen my miniatures in the past. And it gives you a step-by-step -step on painting a library. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's all right. I could probably use that. Of course, you have advertisement in the back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I may look into this company someday. I still like Reaper, though, but, yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, finally I got an Overlight Adventure. The Lost Spire of Zuaquatl, I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, I've been really wanting this, uh, an adventure to go with the Overlight game because I, st I started to read it and it uh, seemed the world just seemed a little obtuse it's like it was like getting into World of Darkness for the first time you're thinking oh it's vampires I mean what, what, what could it be how different can it be and then you get deeper and deeper and deeper down that rabbit hole and you're like oh wait a minute <laughs> there's a little more to this than I thought uh, Overlight, on the other hand, has this really beautiful cover, and you go, ooh, this looks like an interesting world, and it is, but you've got no frame of reference, it's so, it's a genuinely alien world, um, one day I'll finish reading it, there's an ugly thing you don't want to run into in the woods, <laughs> Um, one of these days I'll finish reading it. I'll probably start with this, really, if I ever get around to it. 
But yeah, it's a game that I literally bought for the cover. Literally. Literally. That's interesting. Because it just had an interesting cover. I don't usually do that, but I have been known to do it. Hmm. So I haven't read any of this stuff yet. They seem interesting enough. But of course, I can't go to a free RPG day without actually making a purchase. I bought a couple of um, bought a couple of miniatures. They've already disappeared in my um, my boxes of shame. Boxes of shame being those shameful miniatures still in the blister pack that I've purchased, but not even put a primer coat on. Yeah, that's a, that's what you call a box of shame. I do still have this floating out, a Citadel painting handle. Don't know how useful this is going to be. I figure 10 bucks, I'll give it a try. Of course, I haven't even painted since I bought this. Um, but the more interesting purchase I made was this. Titan's Grave, Ashes of Volcana. I saw a Let's Play of this on uh, Geek and Sundry. Uh, Will Wheaton was running it. And um, so far, as far as I could tell, this is the only thing they've made for it. It was made for the Fantasy Age system. That's right there. Not the Modern Age system. Or I'm sure the next one will be called Space Age if they ever make it. But, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of... It's kind of got this... Um, Thundar the Barbarian kind of feel to it. And I, this here is an adventure path. You'd think they'd have a source book for it. But no, they got this adventure path. I'm not complaining. I, I, I watched them run it. And, um, it looks fun. I definitely want to run this. Problem is, I don't actually have the Fantasy Age game. And... I may have to break down and order it. I don't want, I don't like ordering things if I could help it. Huh. Of course, I'm about to make a liar out of myself. Because this is, um, part one. Oh, a little map. I haven't even pulled this map out to see what it looks like. This is part one of this uh, episode. I'm going to turn off the camera to get set up for the next one. As, uh, yeah, I'm about to make a liar out of myself. <laughs> Alright, one of the two videos that I attempted to make, um, one of them was an unboxing. Yeah, my first ever unboxing for Reaper's Miniature. Actually, it was going to be my first ever um, Reaper order. I'd never ordered from Reaper. I've always ever... Uh, bought from my friendly local gaming store. And uh, I was in a mood to have like a theme. And that's this is what I got. You got, um, let's see, Candy Anime Heroine, Whitney Anime Heroine, Sugar Anime Heroine. <laughs> see the theme? Carla Anime Heroine. And finally, Ishio Anime Heroine. Here's another candy, because you couldn't really see it. There you go. Uh, but, the thing is, <laughs> I had to get these. I thought they would be fun to paint. Uh, can't see that behind the base. But, uh, just the bases are a little different on, on some of these. Well, this is an older one, so yeah. But uh, you could tell that this is 90s anime and not modern anime. Because uh, they've got guns, every one of them. <laughs> so I got these guys. And because my order was so large, I got to choose... I got to choose uh, another miniature for free. I chose the Tengu Wizard because... Uh, Tengu, that's like from Japan. I was like, okay, cool, I can do that. And I also ordered some paint. These came in a blister pack called Modern Colors, and I figured they would look good with the anime um, heroines if I ever get around to printing them. Um, we've got Punk Rock Pink. There we go. We've got Neon Yellow. 
and LED blue. It's funny, the LED blue um, on the website looks almost green, but I was very pleased to see when it came in that it looked more, more blue like it should. Uh, I also, for good measure, got some alien goo. So I was looking at the alien goo online, I'm like, that really kind of matches the, the set, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And check this out. They also sent me a free sample. Uh, I've already tested it on the video that failed. Uh, <laughs> and um, this is actually a grayish, um, more of a, no, I should say bluish gray rather than grayish blue. Yeah, it's gray with a, a blue tint to it. It looks really good and I could definitely use that. I like it. Uh, yeah, so the video that I had had, that I had filmed and actually 100% edited and it was ready, it was ready to fly, I realized that I had the invoice, I had the invoice in with my, um, in my video and I had left it out and my name and address were all over the place and while I'm not particularly worried I don't care who knows, but I should care because I've heard horror stories. So what I ended up doing is I scrapped that video. And then I did another video and ran into even more problems. And I threw my hands up and said, hell with it. Um, so I'm going to go on to the next part of my video. So, after twice being burned on videos, the second time was a combination of my phone overheating again and running out of memory space. I finally threw up my hands, bought this little thing. It is a uh, Canon PowerShot SX620HS. I'm still learning it, otherwise I would be doing this video on this lovely camera here. But I freed up space on my phone to do this video. Uh, if this camera works out, uh, I'll probably be doing a lot of videos on this camera. I do have one small problem. I checked out the specs for the video part and didn't even consider the mic. I'm assuming that little dot right there is the mic right there. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to work out once I transfer it onto the... Um, under the computer. Uh, in the meantime, I've heard the audio that comes out of this camera, and uh, the audio out of the camera is really bad. But, I'm hoping it's because it's more like a, a speaker thing rather than a mic thing. Maybe the audio comes out really good once you transfer it to the computer and not trying to listen to it on the camera. I don't know, but, um, Cross your fingers, wish me luck, uh, because if this doesn't work, I'm going to be back to using this cell phone again. Oh dear. So, I think that almost sums it up. Uh, I got one more small thing to look, to show y'all. I discovered these clear colors at one of my friendly local gaming stores from uh, Reaper. Yes, I do like Reaper. <laughs> And I went, oh, wow, that looks interesting. Clear colors? Uh, I haven't used clear colors before. And he's speaking, they'd be more like translucent, wouldn't they? Oh, well, nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, I picked these up. They look pretty uh, and hope to use them uh, eventually. Um, so that's my month of July. Um, the camera was technically August, the beginning of August, but hey. Uh, I, I wanted to throw it into the video. This is my July vlog. Um, so now you have an idea of what's been going on, what I've been doing, things I've been picking up. Uh, I need to get back into the swing of things of doing real videos. But yeah, like I said, don't count on me uh, doing a video every week. Uh, I'm ashamed. I'm very ashamed. But that's okay. Uh, I don't mind doing this as a hobby just for funsies. And I hope you don't mind uh, watching my videos just for funsies. <laughs> this is your RPG Archivist and see ya. Ha! 
They don't slide apart. Look. They snap apart. Look at that. Boy, am I embarrassed. 